sorry for the inconsistent upload. But anyhow, I bought a new MacBook Pro. If you look at my setup, I got this monitor here that is hooked up to my old base model MacBook Pro from 2017. It's got eight gigabytes of RAM with an Intel chip and I think 128 gigabytes of storage, which is not a lot. My SD card is bigger than that. So it clings on to dear life every time I edit a video or code on it. But now most of my work is now done on this machine. If you want a quick answer to see if this computer is worth $3,000 or not, if you have the money, it is. It's an M4 MacBook Pro 14 inch, 24 gigabytes of RAM and one terabyte of storage. If you have the money and you use a workflow that's similar to mine, you do development and you edit videos from time to time, I can't recommend this enough. The tasks can get pretty heavy if you do them together. And then with this extra storage and the 24 gigabytes of RAM, you still have so much room to breathe. But enough said, this is how the story goes. This feels kind of nice. I like the color. This is smooth. Oh, uh, wait. So I took the time and I've already installed some software that I usually use. I use Notion for task management. I downloaded Spotify for music, DaVinci Resolve 20 for my editing, and Firefox as my main browser. And I like it because I don't want to use half of my RAM for a damn browser like Google Chrome. So first, I have to install Homebrew. Homebrew has been my preferred package manager. So what you got to do is just you got to go to the website and then you can just copy this bin bash and curl. Then you just copy it into the terminal. You press that in your password. This has taken so long. It's crazy. What? Of course, gotta install Git with brew. It's kind of like part of the homebrew documentation, and then you can search up Git, and then you can just copy this command, put it in the terminal, and paste it. Now we have version control. Let me just clear this up, and then we're gonna have to install Node. Yeah, so this is also another brew command. It's gonna install Node.js, Node23, and also NPM. I've been learning JavaScript for the past two years and I'm using it now, but I really wanna learn a new language. I was hoping I can learn like Golang or something. For now, JavaScript would be good. You know, they say that the best tech stack is the tech stack that you never change. And so far I haven't found it, any requirement to change or to move away from JavaScript. So we're gonna to stick to that. Next, we're gonna install my favorite terminal at the moment. It's GPU accelerated, it's very lightweight, and the configuration is in TXT. So configuring it is really easy, and this is what I spend most of my time with, because usually I use VS Code back then, but then my computer started giving up on me. So I, I needed something that was less bloated. So I moved away from VS Code, and I used the terminal, and the open as my main editor. Drag it here. Then we're done. We got a ghosty now. And now I'm gonna find ghosty and move it into my menu bar. And if you guys wanna try out NeoVim, brew, install NeoVim. And then you can go over to LazyVim where they will show you how to install it in their documentation. I'll also leave the links in the description. You can just run NeoVim in ghosty and yeah. This is, this is NeoVim, LazyVim actually. And now we have it here configured. Now we can just close this up. I use Tmux because I have five windows running at the same time, usually. First, my backend, and then I have an instance of NeoVim opening up my server and Grafana server started so that I can use HTTPS. And then I would also have another instance of NeoVim running my client side, and then also another terminal session to see errors locked. And now we're gonna install Tmux, which is a terminal multiplexer. So we can manage our windows within the terminal. So we can quit this, we can clear this up and copy brew install tmux. So all in all, this is how I set up my computer for development. I would prefer using NeoVim over VS Code because VS Code just gets boring over time. And this is lighter on my system as well. Even though this MacBook is quite powerful, I feel better using NeoVim knowing it's lighter and I feel like it's more, I don't know, 
integrated to the system. I'm right up in there in the terminal getting dirty and all that. Yeah, I just I just prefer this over VS Code. But yeah, that's gonna be for today. Thank you guys for watching. We're gonna get to work. We're gonna get to color grade. It's uh yeah, I'm I'm really excited to do this. But this is amazing, I'm excited. Thank you guys. I'll see you soon. Peace!